Hi, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to quickly change the resolution or aspect so your video properly fits the TikTok format. And this technique works for any mobile vertical video format. Let's do it! Let's get started. This is a brand new project and the default is 1920 by 1080. To quickly change that format, we go down here to the bottom right, click the gear. It takes us right up to the project settings and make sure the master settings is clicked. And we see the timeline resolution. There's nothing in the drop down that will allow you to select a standard mobile format. So we have to change it manually. We have to do it here by interchanging 1920 and 1080 here. So that would be doing 1080, 1920, and save. Now your project is in the proper TikTok, Instagram, etc. format for mobile phones. Let me just give you an example with a couple of media files to show you how it works. I just brought in two media files, one image and one video. Let me bring down the video to the timeline. And now you can see the format. It is on portrait mode or vertical mode. Let me play this. You can see how it shrunk or fit the normal 16 by 9 resolution down into a 9 by 16 and there's a lot of black space. What we can do is change the zoom so we can fit this, at least the middle section, into a larger portion of the frame. So click your video clip, go over here, make sure the inspector is on, and here under transform there's the zoom, and we can just drag it to the right. And we can fill in more of the frame. And if he's off center, we can position the X to the left or right to center him more. So if we go back and play this. Okay, maybe we can zoom in a little bit more. So now we have the main image in a better zoomed in position. Now it looks a lot better in the full portrait or mobile format. There's another thing I want to show you is to properly know where your imagery is going I have a screenshot here of a TikTok page from my phone, brought it over into the laptop. I use it as a guide to make sure some of the more important things in my video isn't blocked by certain things in TikTok. I'll drag my guide image over to the video two track and go back to the beginning. So now I can't see the video because this image is on a layer above the video layer but if I reduce the opacity over here, make sure the image is clicked and in the inspector under opacity, drag that down, then you'll start to see your video. Let me stretch the image to fit the full video duration and play it. So now you can see how your main object are being blocked by some of TikTok's icons, standard icons. I placed the track head to where the icons were blocking his head so now I can move him over so he's not being blocked. Let me click on the video and move him again away from the icons and there. So let's play that. So there you go. Now we know he's not going to be blocked by the icons. Then when you're done with the guide you can just simply delete it. Backspace. Let's say you're done with the edits and you're ready to produce the video. Let's go to deliver and you just keep it at custom, give it a file name, location, and change the format to MP4. Resolution is custom and ready to go at 1080 by 1920. And now you're good. You're ready to add it to the render queue and start render and then you're done. And then you can transfer it over to your phone and upload it to TikTok. 